the common pastures left by our predecessors for the relief of us and our children are taken away. The lands which in the memory of our fathers were common, those are ditched and hedged in. The pastures are enclosed and we shut out. Whatsoever fowls of the air or fishes of the water and increase of the earth, all these they devour, consume and swallow up. Yea, nature doth not suffice to satisfy their lusts. While we, in the meantime, eat herbs and roots and languish with continual labour, shall they, as they have bought hedges against common pastures, enclose with their intolerable lusts also all the commodities and pleasures of this life, which nature, the parent of us all, would have common. We can no longer bear so much, so great, and so cruel injury. We will rather take arms and mix heaven and earth together than endure so great cruelty. Nature hath provided for us, as well as for them, hath given us a body and a soul, and have not envied us other things. While we have the same form and the same condition of birth together with them, why should they have a life so unlike to ours? We see now that it is to come to extremity. We will also prove extremity, ran down hedges, fill up ditches, make way for every man into the common pasture. Finally, lay all even with the ground. Neither will we suffer ourselves any more to be pressed with such great burdens against our wills, nor endure such great shame as we should leave the commonwealth unto our posterity much worse than we received it of our fathers. We desire liberty and an equal use of all things. This we will have. Otherwise, these tumults and our lives shall end together.